ladies and gentlemen, introducing you to our two combatants. We do it here at a catch weight of 68 kilos. This one sponsored by Daybro Village Meats. Introducing to you first, standing across in the blue corner, weighed in officially 68.25 kilos. Travels to Queensland, the Sunshine State tonight from Sydney, New South Wales. He's trained out of the Lions Den Academy. Tonight, he makes his professional debut. Give it up, this is Joe Davis. And standing across in the red corner, weighing in officially 68.3 kilos. From Brisbane, Queensland, he's trained out of the base training centre tonight. He makes his much anticipated professional debut. Brisbane, make some noise. I give you Joel England! Referee, the man in the middle, Mr. Thomas Churchill. Fight number 10 tonight, brought to you by Daybro Village Meats, providing North Brisbane with quality meats and dairy since 1990. Search Daybro Village Meats on Google for more information, and the boys are straight into it. Lean takedown there, but Joel English straight back to his feet. Davis looks strong, but I think, with all due respect, I think Joel England will probably have that old man dad strength, you know. Yeah, he's, it's earned. Yeah, I, I remember like doing rounds with him back in the day. He was always physically strong. He's always a physical kind of guy, you know. Um, so, and like, like I said, he's put in the work. He's been doing a lot of work uh, on his strength and conditioning in the lead up to this fight. So you know that he's he's going to be strong and he's going to be fit. And he's here to make the most of this opportunity. I love that he said his keys to victory are KO or sub. Yeah, he's, he's not wrong. No, nah, exactly. Especially if he's looking for that fairy tale finish to his fight career, this is going to be one and done no matter what as a pro. Absolutely. He looks relaxed, he looks calm, he looks happy, slowly walking his way over to his corner so he can listen to his, to his coaches clearly. I would like to see Davis start to like fight for that head position a little bit better there, you know. He's not yeah. really doing a lot here, he's just kind of pinning him. There's almost a foot of dead space between their heads. Yeah, exactly. You know, Joel's looking for that elbow on the inside, which is, which is I think, a smart move. He needs to try and uh, get a bit of better bicep control before he throws that to be able to create Ooh. a bit of space. He's got this 50-50 here. I was going to say, we might see some man strength. Oh, it was a little 12 to 60, wasn't it? Yeah. We'll call it 11.30 to 5.30. <laughs> Oh, beautiful work here from Davis. Yeah, Joel's using the uh, the Aaron Blackie baby carry position here. It's very, very hard to get your, your grip and hard to do a lot of damage with with anything because you've got one arm tied up. The moment you move, you give Joel the underhook. Landed right. a clean uppercut there. And Joel can use that to turn off the fence or backstep back under to a body lock. I'd like to see a bit of hustle in Joel here. He's got to get his back off the fence. Not a lot is happening. He's gone back to his baby carry position here. He, he's, he's got to really just kind of get off the fence and, and get some control back, you know. Davis seeming to be doing most of the offensive work. Oh, oh that's beautiful. A huge elbow there. Oh, you think he cut him pretty bad there? Someone's bleeding. It could be. It could actually be Joel that's bleeding. Sorry. Nice leg kick. I think it was earlier, for, it could have been a head clash in the grappling department. Yeah, okay, that actually would make a lot of sense. He's back yeah. up to his feet, he's defending well here, he's digging that under. He's leaking! Nice, big slam, that is, a bat. That is squirting out. Right? I That's... mean, you can see us on the commentary table. There's claret everywhere, ladies There's and gentlemen. More elbows there. That's probably one of the worst cuts I've seen in a long that... time from this angle. I've never oh, seen it. Oh man, it is pretty bad. It is painting the gutter of the cage here. It's right on my head. That's one of the worst cuts I've ever man, seen. Man, oh, and I do not have any problem with that call at all. No way. You could almost see his heartbeat in that cut. And look, stone cold killer on hill there. There's blood all over my paperwork. There's blood all over my table. And uh, yeah, I got blood on my phone. Wow. That, yeah. that was a big cut. 100%.
That, that, that was literally squirting out. I wonder if we can get a slow motion replay of that. I think it started as a smaller one earlier on. It and the shot like opened he it up. Maybe yes. he slammed his head on the cage or on the canvas, maybe. A hundred percent. But yeah, that uh, doesn't I look like that big a cut either. When it you doesn't. actually look at it now, it doesn't look like a big cut. It's just in that spot, wasn't it? It was just yeah. leaking. And normally that a cut on the side of the head like that's normal, normally a big deal. It's not normally going to bleed into the eye too much. It's normally going to run down the side of the face. But that was like astronomical the amount of blood that was coming out of that. I've, I've not seen a cut bleed like that in a very, very long time. Wow. I mean, the safety personnel obviously going to do their thing. It looks like a tiny cut. Absolutely. It made a big noise. We've got Damien Brown, promoter and cleaner on the mats here, you know? Well, someone's uh, got to do exactly. it. Exactly. It's his boy. Here we go. So, like, yeah, that nice sidekick. Maybe it's a sidekick to push the blood out of him. Who knows? Doesn't look too bad at this point, right? But he doesn't something look happens here. I think it might even be a right. Uh, we're not going to get to see it, unfortunately. It's difficult on the to tell. Who knows? It's yeah. one of those things. Once the cut's already open, who knows what opened it up even more? But it was when he was head down, had all that pressure in his yes. head, it was squirting. It, yeah, it was like a full stream. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, would you put your hands together for our two uh, fighters again here? Another great showdown here. 3 0 6 of round number one. Your referee calls a halt to the contest. Your winner by TKO. And it goes to the blue corner, Joe Davis. I mean, if you're Joel England, it's not really the way you want to go out by a cut. It's pretty disappointing if he's retiring after this one. Yeah. Maybe he might have one more. Maybe he's going to have another crack. Who knows? Yeah, he looks to be in good spirits. Yeah. He's got the support of his friends and family. He's telling them that he's okay. Yeah, he got to have a good crack. You know, he got what he wanted. He wanted to come in. He wanted to have a go. Uh, and that's what he got. You know, it was fun. The, the fans loved it. The crowd loved it. Yeah, it's a good scrap. We move to our winner with Jimmy O'Shea. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll grab a few words with our winner. We'll go, impressive display. Thank you very much. Uh, first, listen, I want to thank everyone that was supporting me from home, especially my team. I'm in day in, day out. I didn't exactly have a fight camp for this one. I've been in every single day. It's been fight camp all, all year round. And uh, tonight I wanted to, first of all, make a step towards my professional career. But I also wanted to make a statement. I've gone through a lot of adversity throughout my amateur career. And I think too many people have been forgetting my name. I'm here for people to remember me. So you made quite the statement tonight. What's next? Next, I've got to, first of all, put in the hard work, which I'm willing and happy to do. Make the right steps towards more wins, more fights, you know. I want to take my professional career as far as possible. So I'm here to do that step by step, every rung of the ladder I'm willing to climb. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for a winner. Very impressive tonight. That's Joe Davis.